Waking before dawn on a freezing cold morning is painful, even for the hardiest soul. And the idea of going fishing, sheer lunacy. But Chris Yates and Bob James know how to enjoy their particular passion better than most, and have come for a weekend's winter fishing. Much fine literature has been penned on the beauty of the fisherman's winter landscape, but none more evocative than Ted Hughes's poem. Buds, fur-gloved with frost. Everything had come to a standstill in a brand new stillness. The river trees, in a blue haze, were fractured domes of spun ghost, wheel ruts frost-fixed, and the river steamed. Grailing like a fast current, particularly if it runs under a tree. And this is a classic swim. It's lovely. I went back for the camera. I wonder what you've got to. You've gone back to bed. Any luck like yet? No. No. Water must be nearly freezing. I'm slowing the bait right down. Hmm. Teasing them to take. Hmm. You see, that's starting to snag now. Mm. No, it's not a fish, you see. I think it's the bottom. Oh, it's still there. He is a fish. Yes. <laughs> it must be comatose out there. It's so cold. Oh, well done. No, that's not comatose now. No, it's roaring about now. Hold it steady, will you? Make it smile. <laughs> Here he comes again. Ready? Oh, lovely. Just as the dorsal broke surface. Got him. You got a few shots. Now, come on. He's a, now you've got to get him now. <laughs> yeah, he's about ready for the net now, Chris. Yeah, well done. Good, I'll come back round. There we are. Well, I said, I think there's, there's got to be a couple of pounds. Oh, yes. Lovely. <laughs> he's camera shy. There. Very nice. I think he wants to go back in the river now. It's slightly warmer than the air. What are you doing in my swim? <laughs> I was just talking about you to myself. <laughs> said I think this could have been the one that you nearly had yesterday. You had you not... rice. Well, I got up this morning and, and I thought, I bet that little rice was going out roach fishing. What do I find you doing? <laughs> fishing for my pike. <laughs> it actually always, oh, reminds oh, you, oh, always reminds you of a crocodile when you see it coming towards sure. you like that. Oh, look at those fangs. <laughs> <laughs> when you got some bite through the handle. <laughs> Look at the length of it. Unbelievable, it'll, it'll fold. Oh, yes. oh, well done. Oh, well done, that poacher. Yeah, I told you that was that one. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes in that soppy little net. Look right there, Chris, I reckon that's the fish you nearly landed last night. Well, it is indeed a magnificent fish. Very sharp teeth. Put your hand in there, go on, make it weigh a bit more. <laughs> it, it isn't the one I lost yesterday. I don't see if it was bigger than that. It was. It was well, bigger than that. Hang on a minute. You need to look after that a minute, Chris. Yeah. Just keep him all right. Dawn on the 16th of June. And all over Britain, millions of excited anglers are venturing forth to river and lake, full of hope for the new season and the joy of once again being by the waterside. Carp fishing has been described as long periods of watchful inactivity, punctuated by moments of dramatic intensity, waiting for that moment of contact, if it comes. It was Arthur Ransom who thought hooking a carp was terrifying like being jerked out of bed by a grapnel from an aeroplane. He suggested that salmon might fight longer, but don't have the carp's appalling pace or strength. Bob! Bob! We're coming! Yeah, we're coming. 
just in time. <laughs> I'm here. I'm some way off. I was nearly dragged over the sill just then. Well done. Can you see which one it is? It's putting up a hell of a scrap. It's a, it's a common. I can see it's a common. Go a bit closer. It looks like a good 20. I hope so. Here he comes. Coming. Okay. Oh. The approach must be like that of a stealthy fox. For even carp that have never been fished for before are incredibly shy. These creatures are over 60 years old, their brains steeped in the laws of survival. So for the angler who hopes to turn the myth into a monster, this is the moment of truth. Bob. <laughs> now what's going to happen now, though, Chris? Ah, oh. oh, shit! As with all fishing, you can fail to catch, but still be enchanted. And past carp record holder Richard Walker wrote lovingly of the magic of carp fishing dawns. Our long vigil had begun. It continued until daybreak and after. The sun rose deep orange, its beams making the lake steam. Nothing moved. I was lost in a quiet world of grey and green and gold. 